Hello ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to try to keep this one quick. I just finished off Annihilation by uh, Jeff Vandermeer. And uh, the end of the book left me in an odd position where I, I really didn't want to go on because the way this is constructed and ends was really good. But there are two more books and I, I guess I have to know what happens here. Uh, the book is narrated by uh, one character, one viewpoint. Uh, she is simply referred to as the uh, the biologist. There's a place called Area X that is cut off from the rest of the world uh, by a shimmering border. Uh, her team is her, the biologist, a psychologist, a uh, surveyor, and an anthropologist. Uh, teams have gone in before. Uh, people sometimes don't come back. Sometimes they do. Uh, it might not actually be them that returns. Uh, what happens here that the, the author right off the bat likes throwing you off a little bit. So for example, the pros are created to cause uncertainty. So for example, they heard birds singing, but they see a deer and the deer takes flight. There's those two sentences are put together like that uh, on purpose, very obviously not literally take flight, just run off, but it uses take flight in places the birds just singing. A, a boar charged them and then ran off into the underbrush and then slowly faded from memory after they were done with the encounter. Items like that, just to just to give you a, a uncertainty so you don't know what's going to happen. So a, a lesson in suspense there. Uh, so there, I, I'm usually okay with picking up themes and symbols, and here it's rather glaring, it's really good. Uh, it is the mundane versus the sublime. And uh, in this case, of a, a, an example of the mundane is that uh, the, the, the biologist, her husband, had been on a previous expedition. He's gone for a long time. And so when he comes back, he comes straight back to her instead of going back to this this base who had sent him out there and she doesn't know what to make of him he's not the same person and in hindsight it becomes so mundane because of what she becomes that she's you know doing dishes after she gave him a meal and she has to sit here and talk to him like this uh, the the aspect of this too is that she herself uh, for example knew of a pool and a pond uh, in becoming a biologist later, but she she studied these things so well, she brags to herself that she could tell you know each individual told apart from from one another. But when she goes in in the area X, she's pretty much part of the pond. Uh, now, um, from here forth, I'm gonna have to go with uh, spoilers in order to explain anything. I'll just say this is a very good book. I am going to continue on the next purchases I'm going to make are the, the two sequels to this. So here we go. What happens to her is she is part of this new expedition. She goes in and she goes to examine something and she accidentally inhales a spore. This, this is a wooded area, marsh-like forest type of environment and she inhales this and over time it starts to change her. Uh, unbeknownst is this uh, psychologist that her entire team has been um, 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 affected by uh, deep hypnosis and the psychiatrist has the psychologist rather has these trigger phrases that are going to allow her to try to direct and control them uh, but because of the spore that she has taken in it doesn't affect her, but she sees how it affects others, but she decides to play along because she doesn't know quite how to handle this. Uh, so the the title, this is a big spoiler if you don't want it, this title, Annihilation. Later on, this uh, psychologist, she's, she's broken and she's dying, and the biologist comes up to her and immediately starts yelling, Annihilation, Annihilation! And it's because the word annihilation is meant to induce suicide. So this is her way to kill anyone off that she may need to may need to do. And her hands are trying to clean if you want to be indirect about it. Uh, so the, the reason 
from not naming these characters because she becomes a part of this environment. It's like being, being a, a, a part of a, uh, a collective. And so these names mean nothing to her, even her own name, even the name of her husband. None of that matters to her anymore as she goes in and is constantly transformed. Uh, some of the people, uh, you can pretty much speculate that they become subsumed by Area X as well. Her husband subsumed, but it did make a doppelganger, a duplicate of her husband, and that's the one who had gone out and got into her kitchen. Uh, so the, the, she, 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 where was I going? She, uh, winds up, uh, not wanting to go home. She'd become part of the place. Uh, in her travels through Area X, uh, for example, there's this dolphin that pops out of a river. And she seems to find one of its eyes rather familiar. And the, the implication here, something she talks about later, is that, her husband being subsumed by this part. Uh, he's now a part of a greater whole and bits of him have gotten out there. Uh, you know, scientists will tell you that uh, the atoms in your body are billions of years old, uh, created in the subsequent destruction of stars that lent, then lent material to new generations. Only, of course, you're nothing conscious about it. It's just atoms without any, you know, thinking you in there somehow. Uh, until you became you. So here, getting subsumed, however, you may have some kind of inkling of what is essentially possibly an afterlife as you become part of this environment. Uh, throughout, it, it, they, they actually find a, um, it's a gigantic pile of journals that previous travelers had created, they find in this, in this lighthouse. And the gist of this is this, this book here is basically her journal herself that she wrote up and adds to the pile because she's not going home. She doesn't want to. Apparently, the next book is supposed to be uh, happening in the human world. And then the third book uh, has to do with uh, a lot of characters from the this book and the next book. And happening about this time or so so little, little side tracks here and there to fill in fill in the whole story and uh can't recommend this enough it's very good it's very surreal feeling a very very introspective line per line and i enjoyed that quite a bit uh i started this up today this is a short stay in hell by stephen l Peck. This is a short book. Uh, how many pages are we looking at here? 104 pages. Dude goes to hell. There's a demon there. Takes him in. Says, okay, here's going to be your little hell. You're going to go and uh, find a book in this vast library. That's what all this is. And when you find the book that details your life, you're done. You're out, you're out of hell. You can go. Well, uh, it's been a while. He, he, again, he, this is a person narrating their own story, and just as an example, he gives you the first clue of how long it's been. He's walked light years. The nearest star is four and a quarter light years away. If you walked at a good force march 24-7, it's going to take you almost a billion years to get there. He's been there far longer than that. That's just the first layer of time he decides to dish out about how long he's been there and the, the books he goes through to try to find some clues as to where the book is uh, that he needs to find. So I just started it. I'm only on page uh, 12 and uh, quite a bit has happened. I like this. I am hooked. This was, this is, I only saw this on one channel. I never didn't even hear of it until uh, the channel name is uh, Chanel Chapter. She also has a, another channel called Chanel Days. Her name is Chanel, and uh, she's, she's very good at reviewing books. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a, uh, a book tag video this coming Friday. She's gonna be one of the people I'm gonna tag uh, among uh, I think four or five others. And so I, so far I'm hooked, and you might be too if you decide to go for it. I might do a short review on this one because it's such a short book. I can't imagine how much detail I'm going to have to give to review and, and spoil it. There you go. That's the day. Quick one. Uh, see you this uh, couple of days with a new video. Thank you very, very much.